As if it isn't already expensive enough to live in big cities, now an additional cost for those who own a car. Seems there's a parking shortage. As much as we love them, outdoor dining setups are occupying all of the street space, and some people are still too COVID nervous to take public transit. So parking spots are becoming an even pricier commodity, and developers are seizing the opportunity. What would you pay? Here's CNBC's real estate correspondent, Diana Olick. It's a parking space in a garage on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Retail value, $350,000. Why would anybody spend $350,000 for a parking space? It is a convenience play. It is a luxury play. This is not somebody who's calculating whether it's cheaper to rent or cheaper to own. This is somebody who values the convenience because time is the last luxury. And time is fast running out for anyone looking for a parking space in New York City. COVID is huge for the demand for parking. Everybody's buying cars. Even friends of mine who I never thought, who don't even own apartments, are buying cars. She's not wrong. Car vehicle registration is way up in the city since the pandemic began, and subway ridership is about half of what it was before. Not to mention that restaurants are now taking up parking spaces. That's why Greg Rubin and his partners at Center Park decided to sell rather than rent the 22 spaces in one of their smaller garages. Demand is just that strong. We felt the highest and best use of this space was to create a condominium for individuals and sell the individual spaces. That's right, parking space condos. They even offer financing. You can put 5 to 10 percent down. So it provides an easy entry point into owning your own parking space. And if you don't want to use it yourself, you can rent it out, which in this neighborhood can net you well over 600 bucks a month. When you don't need to use it because you're away for the summer in the Hamptons, you rent it out for those three months, you cover your expenses, and then you come right back and it's yours again. Can I do anything I want with this space? You can do anything as long as it's transportation related. So you can build out storage for bikes or scooters or whatever you want, which is very valuable given the average size of a New York City apartment. Now, we did ask if you could park an RV in your space and actually live in it. That appears to be a gray area. But one thing that is clear is you don't have to live in the building upstairs to buy the space. In fact, Chef, you don't even have to live in the state of New York. 350. Uh, are, are, are the spots actually selling? Actually, they've been on the market for six weeks. They got two under contract and a lot of interest, they say, because people, of course, are coming back for their, from their summer homes and they need to find a place to park. As one does.